All right, today we're going to make a cornflake weeps. I'm going to use the one into the saucepan, just a real large one. I'm going to melt four tablespoons of unsalted butter. You can also put in the microwave as fast as you can. So I'm going to melt this butter into the saucepan that's about over medium low heat. And you can see the butter is almost melting it real quick. Let's put it here. 10 ounce bag of miniature marshmallows. I'm going to use the one with the brand name, Jet Pups. Put these marshmallows in. Now we're going to melt these marshmallows after the butter melted for first. Just to get it nice and puffed. Can you see the marshmallows is all melted that I keep stirring around. And I transfer it just a little bit lower, as I guess, with medium low. I'm probably this is almost getting melt. So the marshmallow is melting, you can go ahead and remove from the heat. I'm gonna go ahead and add some with the green food coloring. Just stir that around. Look at that color. How vibrant green it was. This is might be for the reef. Right. So I'm going to stir in the cornflakes. We're going to put it one cup at a time. Get a second cup. That's three. Hopefully it's going to be really sticky. Let's finish the one. I'm going to guess about four cups. And here's the cornflake mixed with the marshmallows with green. And got the cookie sheets has been already lined with wax paper. And I got some for the melted butter, I'm going to rub it with my hands. That loss prevent from stickiness. We're going to get this. I'm going to make sure how many are they. Now you just want to rub your butter with your hands. Then you want to take the cornflake mixture with the marshmallows. I'm going to see how many that I'm going to make for it. You can also use a measuring cup. It doesn't really matter. Then you want to put it onto a cookie sheet and you're going to form it into the reef. So I'm just giving you guys to show you, this is the first beef. I'm going to finish these rest. Here you go, I just made almost like about four. I'm probably sure I'm going to make more of that. And here's another one that I use with parchment paper. To add something for decorative, we're going to use it with the cinnamon employers or which is known for the red cinnamon candies. If you don't have any cinnamon candies or you never have with the cinnamon candies, you can also try with these with red m &Ms like I have here. I'm going to stick it right onto that for the marshmallows and cornflakes and just keep it nice and decorative. Just stick it right onto the marshmallows that we still are on here. Hopefully it's going to be nice and gorgeous. This might be on there. Alright, that sticks right through. That goes into the fridge until the marshmallow will firm inside the cornflakes. It just took it out of the fridge after I guessed it for 18 minutes. As you can see, the parchment or the wax paper that I've been wet designed for it is really easy, not going to get sticky onto the cookie sheet. And there you have it. An easy cornflake weaves, perfect for your holiday season. If you're interested for more recipes, write down in the comments below if you want to say something. Make sure to be always watch for sharings. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up for everyone. As always, happy holidays.